I'm excited to show you how I created the smash text effect. Stay tuned. Hi there, welcome back. My name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, please take a minute, like, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. So with our canvas set for us, the first thing we're going to do is to apply a black color effect to our canvas or our background layer so i'm going to unlock my layer and i'm going to pick my bucket and i'm going to just click within my canvas and it basically makes it black so the other thing that we can do we can right click outside our canvas and then change our background color we can make it a lighter gray so with this so I'm going to change my foreground color to white. I'm going to pick my text tool and I'm going to type in the word. I'm going to increase my font size and I'm just going to type in the word smashed. I'm going to highlight and I'm going to change the font style. I'm going to choose uh, B bus and I'm going to change the style to bold and I'm going to go to my property and I'm going to move my text in just a little and I'm going to collapse that I'm going to use my move tool with my text transformed I'm going to rescale it like that I'm going to double click. Now, if you're using an older version, you will have to press Control T to activate your selection for you to scale it. But if you're using a newer version, if you have your auto select and your show transform control checked, anytime you use your move tool and you click on your layer, it will automatically select it for you so you can be able to scale it. So the next thing that we are going to do is to bring in an image that we will infuse on top. And know that I will have all of the images I use in this tutorial in the link below in my description. You can download and follow along so you can also achieve the same look as you practice. So if I want to use the align tool on my top bar all i need to do is to make sure that i have under align tool i have canvas selected instead of selection so once you have that all of these bars above will be activated for you uh, once you click on your layer and then let's say this text is somewhere here if i want it centered all i have to do is click on this which will align vertical center. And then I have to click on this one, which will align horizontal center. So now your text is in the middle. We can now go in and bring in our image, which we are just going to drop on top of our layer. And I'm just going to scale this. I'm gonna double click. I'm gonna double click to deselect. Now you want to move your image above your text and then we are going to hold down our alt and you notice that a down arrow icon with a box has been activated. So you click between the two layers and that will basically infuse your image onto your text. So the next thing that we want to do before we move any further is I want to change the color of my image. So I'm going to go to image adjustment, hue and saturation, and I'm going to take down the saturation of this. Select my text and I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert this to a smart object. So now that I have it as a smart object, I'm going to select both my text and my image. I'm going to right click and I'm going to merge both. So the next step after we have merged our layer, we're going is to add an embossing effect to our text. So I'm going to click on my layer and I am going to go to 
my blending options and I'm going to choose bevel and emboss. And I'm going to play around with this a little. I'm going to take down my depth just like that. So you can begin to see, um, we'll keep the depth at let's say 135. And you see my size is at four. I'm going to take it down to a three. And my soft softness is at zero. My style is inner bevel. And my technique is chisel hard. You can see that my angle is at 90. And my altitude is at 30. My shadow mo mood is at multiply. And my opacity is at 75. As well as my Highlight mode is at 75. So if you want to do something a little bit different or more dramatic in terms of the depth of your chisel hardness, you can do that. But for the purposes of this tutorial, I think that this look will give us the effect that we want. So I'm going to click OK. And now that we have this, we are now going to cut off some areas of our text using our pencil tool. And don't worry if you don't know how to use a pencil tool. This is a very simple technique that we are going to do on this text. So you just have to click on one end and then click on the other end that you want to cut off. And then you just close this off. And then you repeat that same effect for all the areas that you want to trim off your text or cut out of your text. So I'm just going to fast forward so we can get to the end of this. So once you have all your cutouts, to deselect your last um, pen command, you want to click on the Path tool, and that will deactivate your selection for you. And then from there, we want to go to our Path, and we are going to click on this three little bars at the corner of four. And we are going to click on make selection. You want to make sure your feather radius is zero. You want to check anti-aligned. And you want to click OK. So now all of our cutouts have been selected for us. So we are going to go back to our layers. And then we want to make a duplicate of this layer and we were going to go back to the original layer and we are going to add layer max and you see that the layer max is the inverse is black so we are going to press Control i to invert it and make it white and now i'm going to press down my alt and i'm going to make a copy and drag it to the top layer we want to invert this layer max, so you press Control i to invert it, so we have the inverse of what we had below. So now we want to rescale the cutout. So you're going to click on your Move tool and making sure your inverted layer max is selected. We are going to just scale this a little, and we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Once we are satisfied, we can double click and then this is the effect we get. So lastly, we want to bring in a glass uh, image that will add to this effect. So I'm going to pull this glass effect and I'm going to move it and scale it. And notice that this glass image is a PNG. It has, it has no background. So we can, so we get this effect. And if you're looking for PNG files online, all you have to do is type in the image you want and put PNG next to it, and you will get similar images with no background to it. So now that we have this, I'm going to select my glass layer, and I'm going to move it all the way up to the top, and I'm going to reduce the opacity I'm going to take it down to about a 50 or something so that we still get the smashing glass effect, but at the same time, you can still see your text. If you're looking for a cool way to design 
a cover or even like a, a movie cover, you can use some of this creative ideas um, to your advantage. So I hope you found this tutorial very helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. Once again, thanks for watching. Bye.